Hi, this is Dave from the Jiu Jitsu Laboratory, and I just wanted to go over the leg drag pass today. Leg drag is something I've been researching a lot and doing a lot, and we'll just go over some of the basic entries from a variety of positions, and then what you can do uh, once you're in the position. So, to initiate the leg drag pass, we want to get both our, our opponent's legs to the same side of our head. And the easiest way to do that, and the way we're going to introduce the leg drag pass, is just if my uh, partner Jeff has his knees tucked in, preventing me from, from passing, I'm going to, on the same side that I'm leaning with my lead leg, I just want to grab his heel and his knee and pull it past. Remember to have your butt low, not standing up straight with straight legs, butt low beyond your toes, in aggressive posture, and I want you to reach forward, cup the ankle, grab the outside of the pants. And as you pull the leg towards you, shuffle in, meet it half a step in, and drag it past your leg. So to initiate the leg drag pass, I'm going to grab and pull it in. Notice how I drop my body on his leg to prevent him from getting his leg out. I pull it past my hip, cup the heel, and grab the knee. As I drag it out, I just bring my body in and down. So that's just the basic leg drag right pass. Grab the knee, the ankle, pull it in. So to finish the leg drag right pass, as I grab the outside of the pants and the uh, ankle, I want to pull it in, but I also want to start to move laterally. This is this begins to put my weight on his leg to prevent him from escaping and it starts to kill his hips. When I, when I do consolidate the position, I want to drop my knee to the ground next to his hips on the outside, right here, and then this leg is pushing inside his, uh, his knee. I don't want to drop my knee to the ground. I want to high into his leg so he can't put his outside leg on the ground. When I feel like I've consolidated the position here, controlling the hips, I take the hand off the ankle and grab his lapel. The other hand is then able to release the knee and grab the back of the belt with the fingers in. From here I push forward, driving his shoulders to the mat with my, uh, with my shoulder and face pressure. All the time you're squeezing your knees and driving forward on your toes to maintain uh, pressure and control of the hips. So, now that we know how to do the basic leg drag pass, let's approach various guards and try to apply what we've learned uh, to passing our opponent's guard. If our opponent is sitting, for example, uh, trying to play open guard and not coming up into us, one thing we can do is just initiate the open guard uh, uh, leg drag pass straight from here. So if we're hand fighting, we want to control our partner's hands, and then when we're out, sure they're out of the way, preventing us from getting our grips, we're just going to move to the outside of the pants and the ankle and pull them up and past us. Dropping right into the leg drag pass, pushing our opponent's leg past us, and then completing the rest of the pass. So, we just covered the sitting pass when our opponent's just sitting there, but oftentimes when we have our opponent on the ground, they want to get up and actually engage us. So one thing we can do is apply pressure to them to make sure they stay on the ground. And the best way I know to do that is drive in uh, with one leg meeting. So first we set up a leg drag with our, uh, for example, my right leg when I was dragging his leg to the right. But now I want to switch if I'm attacking uh, the side to my right, I want to lead with my left leg and drive his back to the mat as much as I can. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to step in between his legs with my leg, making sure he doesn't get his shin purchased on my shin. As I do that, I want to get a grip on his collar and use it with my arm in tight to push his back to the mat. 
At the same time, I'm looking for the outside of his knee grip, exactly the same way we had before. So if we're engaging our opponent, I want to get his collar, step inside and push him to the ground with, uh, with the outside grip. One good way to consolidate the position just here is make sure his leg is in between us, squeezing it between our legs. You don't want him to be able to go under your leg, and you uh, are going to try to prevent his outside dalahiva hook. So you just want to be in tight in this position. So that's one way to get inside your opponent's guard, but if you screw up or your opponent's just good at the single leg, and they wrap your knee, you have to have an answer to that. So as you come in, and they try to get your knees, still keep the outside of the pants and the collar, but just move your leg around his legs and come in to reverse knee on belly. It's a quick pass, but one that's going to get you out of hot water. So continuing on with the passing with the knee in the middle, as I drive in, and my opponent lets me get his knees to the mat. What I want to do is get his opposite uh, hand. If he's pushing on my hips, I can just pull it up. And I want to drive my hips to the mat, keeping his other elbow tight so he doesn't turn into me. Keeping all my weight over his hips. And then all I do to consolidate the leg drag pass is walk my hips back, drive my knee through his legs, and settle my weight. So probably the easiest pass you're going to get from the uh, knee in position it just takes a bit of timing, and that's the X pass. I want to use the exact same grips, the collar and the knee, but this time as I drive in, if he doesn't get a grip on my inside leg, it's really easy just to kick it back and then drive either to the on belly or ideally kick it back and drive into the leg drag position. Now another option for putting our knee through is just to change directions if we're met with opposition. As I try to drive my knee through for a knee slice pass, my opponent's pushing on me I don't want to push back and waste energy. I take his energy and move laterally to try to smash his legs together into the smash pass. From here I can let go of his knee and grab his belt. And I want to drop my head tight to him using my hips to keep his, uh, his knees on the ground. To get this knee on the right side for the leg drag pass, I take my back leg and I swing my shins over my uh, opponent's ankles. Getting my other leg out and driving into the leg drag pass. So again, from the uh, knee through position, sometimes if I'm not fast enough or tight enough, my opponent can begin to set up the De La Hiva guard. My first instinct is to try to stick his leg in between mine. But if I'm, not, if I'm unable to do that, I want to get the grips from the beginning, this outside pant grip and this heel grip, and push into him. As I do that, his tendency is to push back to create space. I use that by hollowing out my body and dragging his leg past me, like that. Then his inside De La Hiva hook might be a problem for me because it creates space. So I need to push in tight, putting pressure on his ankle. When, the, when you feel pressure on his ankle, straighten your leg really quickly and then come back down. That should get rid of the outside De La Hiva hook and then you complete the pass as previously discussed.
So I drive in again to my knee in position, and I get my leg wrapped up, or my arm wrapped up with his leg. Notice how with good pressure it's going to break my grip on his lapel. What I need to do from there is to grab inside of his belt with my four fingers. I really don't want his bottom leg coming out, so I need to keep pressure on it using an inside knee grip to push it to the ground. Hopefully I can turn his hips into me slightly because I need to drive my shoulder onto the outside of his leg. So I come up on my toes and I work my uh, shoulder up onto, his, up onto his leg. From here, I can begin to walk around his body. This is going to put a lot of pressure on his grip and as it breaks, you want to be able to circle your hand around, grabbing his belt and driving through to the leg drag pass. So we can also use the leg drag to pass uh, more advanced guards, like the reverse telehiva guard, using the same concepts. So the first thing I want to do in the reverse telehiva guard is get his hand off of my ankle. In order to do this, I want to grab the meat of his hand and kind of pry it off my leg. Don't let go of the hand because you don't want him controlling your collar or your own sleeve. From here, you're able to drive your knee in forward to put his leg on the ground. Once his leg's on the ground, it's possible to grab the outside of his leg. And from here, I want to bring my knee inwards in a circular fashion, scraping my shin across his shin. When your leg is free, drive his leg inwards and go back into the leg drag pass. So sometimes you're faced with this as well. Your opponent's just sitting there inverted, you know, he's just inverted, trying to do inverted guard on you. And it can be really difficult to pass sometimes, but the leg drag pass is one way we can use to, to try to deal with this type of guard. And they can get into this position from reverse telehiva or a number of other positions. But basically what I want to do is drive my back leg onto his leg. So as I'm approaching him with my, uh, if I'm passing to the left, I want my left leg forward. First you want to try to grip the back of his pants and his uh, same side uh, pants and drive your knee in. Now there's some passes from here, but what I really want to do is work myself up till I can get uh, my back knee all the way forward. From there, you can grab his leg the far leg and try to bring it over your hip again. As you do this, you want to move backwards to bring his hips back to the mat. There you, you can get your grip on the pants, get your grip on his collar, and drive his back flat to the mat again. So to counter the leg pummel, when my opponent attempts to counter my leg drag, what I need to do is initiate the leg drag first, and as my opponent throws his leg over, I need to bump his leg out of the way and get a good underhook. Driving forward on my toes, I take my opponent's leg and push it down to the mat and cover his shin with my shin. From here, the hand on the foot goes around and grips the belt. Don't leave this hand between the legs. You want to get it out and switch your feet to the other side. Drive forward and continue your leg drag pass. So 
So we've done a number of different passes to the leg drag position. And now we're just going to finish the leg drag. First, we'll go into side control, probably the easiest option. As I leg drag my partner, I want to get under his head and grab his shoulder. From here, I like to keep the lapel grip close to my elbow and swing into side. From here, you can get your underhook and consolidate the position. So my favorite way to finish the leg drag pass is going straight to the back. And the way we're going to do that is after the leg drag pass, I'm just going to shuck my opponent forward and take his back. So from this position, I have still my grip on his belt and his collar. What I want to do is use the collar grip to lift his back off the mat by straightening my arm, shucking him forward. But oftentimes his elbow is going to be preventing me uh, from rolling him that way. So I use my hand to close his elbow and shuck him forward. Now that his back's exposed, I want to go for overhook with my free hand, covering it with my other hand, driving my knee under. I want my foot on the hip, driving him back, getting my hooks. And here you can start to set up your chokes. So taking the back of the leg drag, I want to do the leg drag and make sure I have this grip on his belt. From here, I want to use my hand on his bicep to close his arm and then use the belt to shuck him forward by straightening my arm. As I do this, I want to drop my shoulder behind his shoulder driving forward with my toes to prevent him from putting his back uh, back on the mat. Then I want to let go of his belt, reach around to the seatbelt grip and drive my knee under my opponent's head. Uh, from here, I can start to set up chokes or if I want to take the back, I put my foot on the hip and I roll him back using my toes on the floor with on the other side. As I do that, I get both hooks and then I can set up a choke. The final way we're going to finish the leg drag pass is just going straight to mount. And a lot of the time you see people, instead of driving their knee through, putting the knee straight on the uh, leg. I don't use this as much, but one of the cool things you can do from here is if you are able to work for a same side underhook, you're able to drive your knee straight to the mat and go to mount. So when you're finishing the leg drag pass, sometimes you can set up submissions straight from this position. For example, oftentimes when you're trying to pass, your opponent's going to be pushing away on you. You can often ride this out for 10 seconds or so and then get the pass anyway. But in order to set up uh, an arm lock from this position, keep driving forward on your toes, forcing him, uh, your opponent to push back into you. Uh, from here, I let go of the belt and I grab the top arm. From here, all I want to do is uh, slide my knee into his armpit and throw my leg over his head to get the arm up.
other submission I really like from a leg drag pass is when my opponent is pushing on me, particularly on my far shoulder. From here, it's really easy just to turn your body and get their arm off. This also lets me shoot my arm through to the head and arm position. From here, if, even if I'm stuck in a leg drag, I can still grab my own uh, cuff on my sleeve, circle my hand over for the Ezekiel. Other times, I can swing over to the back and finish it there too by straightening my arms. So sometimes if your opponent's doing a really good job of trapping your leg either with his grips or starts to tie it up with his legs, you can uh, use a couple of submissions to either uh, try to pass or just get, get a submission outright. One thing I like to do is get his collar and pass it to the far hand. If you're not able to pass with this pressure, you can drive your other hand through to the cross grip to set up the bravo choke. From here, you want to grab the shelf created by his gi and bring your elbows in tight as you drive forward on your toes. So thanks for watching the Jiu Jitsu Lab uh, instructional on the leg drag pass. I'd like to thank my partner Jeff. Jeff runs the Jiu Jitsu Vortex blog. Really, uh, lots of really great writing on Jiu Jitsu, so please check that out. You can find a link to it on my site. And of course, check out the jujitsulab.com.